Hey everyone, and welcome back to episode 110 of Trario 1.3. Last episode was kind of another important one in the progression of the house here. It is coming together. Look at that window. <laughs> I'm so impressed with my shitty building skills. <laughs> when I make a window, I'm like, oh yeah. So last episode <laughs> was, of course, again, it was just a lot of building. And I made this beastly ass window, and for no reason at all, I'm very, very happy the way it turned out. So what I need to continue to do is uh, I need to place down the walls, the, the boreal wood. Let's go ahead and replace these because I broke a lot of them uh, to figure out like center points and stuff. Yeah, there, there are other ways to do it, but the, only, the way I did it was simple enough. So let me fix the boo-boos that we've created. Now what we need to do is, of course, start adding actual furniture to the house, like to the to the bedroom. Um, right now, I wasn't certain if I want to roll with marble furniture. Uh, oh, oh, hey, we ran, out, we ran out of paint. Well, that sucks. And I can't teleport home because we accidentally changed our spawn to the Dryad. We could go cancel the spawn by right-clicking it. And, but then I don't know if I'm going to teleport down here still. I should, but whatever. Oh! <laughs> I saw that coming. So, this, is, this has happened previously. This has happened previously. I do not have my wings equipped when I'm using my paint sprayer. Maybe a smart idea would be to do this. So we'll equip the wings, and we'll do it, like, down there. You know, something that's not not going to be the difference between life and death. <laughs> so the wings, of course, as we all know, that is my fall damage immunity. And obviously, after you play for so long, you take it for granted. Now we have our wings, and now if we fall, we won't go splat. No splat. So we're good there. Lost some gold from that. That, that sucked, but, you know, you know, things happen. So let's go ahead and just quick stack it so I don't do that stupid shit anymore. I think I, I don't remember if it was last episode or the previous one, but I know I rerolled my Mega Shark recently, so that was pretty cool. Do I still have that one fishing quest? I do not, but that's an ocean quest, and we don't have a lot of time, so there's no way I'm going to go ahead and do that. Now, what was I coming over here for? Did I just completely and utterly brain fart? I think I just completely and utterly brain farted. Um, it was the, the marble. Now, I should have marble on me. Yes. I think if we show marble to him, he should show me the furniture. So... Like the marble bookcase, I kind of like. The bathtub, I'm not really sold on. The bed looks a little stupid. I don't know. Uh, I was thinking maybe using pearl wood. As silly as that may or may not be to a lot of you. Sofas, like vanilla. Like, I mean, these are vanilla. just regular wood to me. Uh, these were obviously in the game first. These ones do not look half bad. I uh, the living wood clock, which obviously applies to the other place. So I don't want to want to steal from that biome. Um, cause it's gonna have a door. It's gonna have probably like three or four rooms, just depending on what I want to lay it out as. Bedroom or a bed dresser. Maybe I want to use the pearl wood, and I don't remember if I actually have a lot of pearl wood, which we can go over here and get a little bit. There was, was there not? Was there not another hollow biome over here? I'm gonna go over here because this is this is annoying. Um, again, a while back we lost world uh, discovery basically because of the stupid cloud saves but let me run over here really quick let's hit up the ocean biome if I can get the quest in time great if I can't whatever I want to go see over here what I have for biomes because I can't remember I, I have three worlds going on at the moment can't remember at the moment which one it is but either way let me get over here I could go harvest all the palm wood that's here I could harvest the palm wood that's here because what my plan is when I do make these individualized houses uh, I'm going to need some palm wood and Palmwood's not exactly something I believe I have quite a lot of or anything like that. So let me just try to skip as much of the jungle as I can and fly over it, because it's not exactly the most friendly of biomes right now. Okay, let's just keep moving here. Of course, we have 80 fishing power, so that'd be nice, but yeah, look at the time. There's no way we're getting this fishing quest done. Anyway, let me come over here. Let me look at some things. Let me figure out what is what. I don't want to use rich mahogany in there. I, I don't think it fits the boreal wood, the black boreal wood. I, I, marble is is a, is a very nice clash. I like it, but the I don't like the actual furniture as much as I initially thought I did, which is why I'm thinking pearl wood. Uh, now, yes, you can dye the the pearl wood or like regular wood white or or gray, but usually when you dye it, it almost looks too too white, too gray, too like too much of that color. It's almost overpowering. So I don't really think I'm going to roll with that. We can try it, of course. I've got the materials for it, but... Again, let me just get over here and see what we have going on. Yeah, I don't, I don't think we actually have that hollowed biome over here like I thought I did. 
But yeah, it's, it feels good to get the map actually explored again. I was really upset when we lost that, obviously. So, I mean, just not being able to see this, when I know I've already been over here a hundred times, <laughs> it's pretty obnoxious. Uh, see, that's right, yeah, this should be corrupt. Uh, that's that's correct. This should actually be a corrupt ocean, if I remember now. It's coming back to me. And I didn't, we didn't bother purifying this or anything like that. Maybe we should. Technically, this is still spreading down below us, but... Do I still get pearlwood from this? You get ebonwood from that. Interesting. I did not know that. It's still a palm tree. Or did I say pearlwood? I wonder if I get palmwood from that. No, you get ebonwood. So this is this is all corrupted. Yeah, go figure. Let me just explore the edge of it on my minimap so I have it for later. Because it's kind of annoying not having it. And then if I want to, I can go get another fishing quest. But I think I'm going to go ahead and pick up some pearlwood and roll with that. I'm just going to leave that crap in that chest. Not interested in it. So let's teleport home. I do not believe I have much, if any, in the way of actual pearl wood. Let me go investigate really quick, and if not, we'll go get some. So, of course, if it's not in the block chest, it's probably not uh, in here. There's a very small amount. Not enough to really make a lot of furniture. So, let's see. I need to be at a sawmill for a bunch of it so I can see what we've got. And you can see, like, the dresser. I mean, it looks cool. But I don't like the majority of the furniture. I like a lot. I like the vanilla furniture for some reason. Let me let me do this. I made one vanilla dresser, just regular wood dress. So I'll say vanilla because you know it's it's what was in the game first. Whatever. Let me get some dye, some paint. Uh, I also need to buy some black paint. That's why I think that's why I originally came down here. <laughs> total total brain fart. I have a massive headache at the moment, and I'm still recording. So uh, bear with me on that one. Now there is. The white, which I think is too light of a color. The gray. Gray could be cool, but it could be a little overwhelming. Let me buy a fair amount of this, because remember how you have to paint each block? And it looks... Eh, it can look stupid if you don't hit every spot. Let's go pick up the paint brush that's over here. It's in one of these chests. Should be this one. Yep. There we go. Let's see what this looks like. We don't have the paint spare equipped, so we're not going to screw up anything on that. Let's slap down a dresser. I mean, I might just keep them regular. I, I I do like the way they look, and of course, again with the white torches, it's really gonna it's gonna look nice. So gray paint is over the black, so it should prioritize that that color of paint. And pixie, let me actually can I like get get a blue one? Thank you. I don't like the green one. Now, do I like the gray one? Nah, it's not bad. It almost looks metal. <laughs> it almost looks metal. That's pretty cool. Wonder, I wonder what the bed looks like. This is going to probably end up deciding it for me because the bed changes color. Or the bed has multiple colors in its actual character model. Or actual model. So I need silk. And it's obviously from cobwebs, which is a material. So we have some over here. I might end up putting like duplicates of each material. like Some of the commonly used things from building over in the other chest. You know, just because it's not always used in a potion. It can be. I mean, it isn't always. So at our loom here, let's make a bunch of silk. That's that ought to be enough for a bed. And here's your bed. See now there's a boreal wood bed. There's boreal wood. the boreal wood sofa looks pretty cool. I'll be real with you. It looks a little bit cooler than the regular sofa. Uh, I just like the way the armrest looks. So some furniture looks cooler than others. It just kind of depends. Uh, let me take the, this one. Let's see how the paint looks on this. I, I have a feeling it's gonna look pretty stupid, but this is what we're trying to figure out. So paintbrush. What do we got? Yeah, see, it, it dies. It almost looks ebon wood now. Now, oh, actually, here, hold on. Because we can place it like this and we can paint the individual blocks. Oh, no, actually, no, it's painting all of it. I thought you could paint... I know you can do it on the chest. You can paint individual squares. It looks like it painted all of it. So, no, I'm, I'm not digging that. I am not digging that at all. The, the, the paint, that is. I do like the way the regular furniture looks. So I think I'm going to end up going with this. Unless, unless of course, the pearl wood can convince me otherwise. I do like the, I do like the pearl wood bed, and the pearl wood dresser isn't bad, but it is not my favorite. I just like the boreal sofa. I have to make one. Let's go put it down. That thing's too cool. That thing's too freaking cool, man. All right, yeah, you just get out of my house. What's this look like painted? Guys, can, can, can I get my pets off of these things, please? I just wish we didn't have to paint all the blocks. Yeah, yeah, see, it just looks like a lump of metal. 
It looks boring. Ah, man. That sucks. I can't decide on the furniture. So, they all look pretty cool in their own right. Like, some furniture in each set looks better than the others. I'm feeling the pearl wood. I, I believe we're gonna go. We're gonna stick with pearl wood. So we have a pearl wood bed. We will make a pearl wood sofa. These are things you want in your bedroom, or you wouldn't mind having in your bedroom anyway. Um, a bookcase will require books, which should be one of my placeable chests, I think. Unless they don't have many from the dungeon, do we use them all? May have ended up using the vast majority of them. We have to go over to the dungeon and do a little a little hunt for books. Huh. Because I know I needed them when I made Living Wood. The Living Wood bookcase. But I don't feel like I would have used them all. Huh. I don't see any in here, so why don't we go over there to the dungeon real quick. So it's just to the right. We can go pick up a fishing quest. We can do it along the way. So again, I'm trying to stay busy at all times. But let's go pick up a bunch of books. Yeah, I don't need them anyway. Make sure we refresh our buff. Wouldn't hurt to use one of these things. And what you got for me? Caught in anywhere. Well, let's try this again. Last episode, or maybe no, it was the episode prior to that. There was the fishing quest from hell that we will not talk about. Just, we're done. That's it. That's the end of that discussion. If you didn't see it, go see it. It's terrible. <laughs> I don't know why that happened to me, but it did. So let's see if I can get the fish that we need without sitting here for 30 minutes. I'll give it like five minutes tops. Okay, see, that's much more reasonable. Uh, the last time I was there for like 20 minutes and nothing happened. Just, no, just stupid. Just, just some nonsense. So, let's head over to the dungeon to get some books. I feel like I've already done this before. Can you craft books? Do they let you craft? I don't believe books are craftable. Which is weird. As far as I'm aware, they're not, because... There's nothing that gives you, like, paper. There's no paper in her area. Silk wouldn't make sense. Wood would kind of, but I don't see that happening. I don't know. I, I don't believe you can. I could check it on the wiki. I could check with the guide as well. But as far as I'm aware, books, at least they used to be, unless they've changed it, of course. You had to get in from the dungeon. So let me just run over there. Let's go do what we know. And we'll go with that. Hopefully no golems come out of nowhere and shoot at me. Also, while I'm over here, that, that them, them rainbow torches, my god. Oh, that's right, it's going to break my dirt walls. That's, that sucks. Let me get the pearl wood that's here. Because if we're going to make some furniture, I might make a bunch of furniture that I do not like. So it doesn't hurt to get more than, than we need. And we'll go ahead and put down some acorns. Sadly, we did not get many acorns out of that. That's a little bit annoying. You get out of here. Just die. Any, any like... Hollowed keys or corrupt keys drop even though we actually have both of them? No? We're good? <laughs> yeah, that's something you gotta be careful. Every time you kill something one of these biomes, they have the chance to drop that one item that you really may want. So, it doesn't hurt to look over. Or, you know, go, go check your kills. Uh, we're almost at the dungeon. As soon as we get past this thing, it's like right over here. Unicorn, jump! Jump! Unicorn, you, you don't have that mat of hops, do you? Nope. Nope. There's some cool pets later on that'll have some, some better jumping skills. And there's like a UFO thing and everything. That's pretty late game. We'll get to that eventually, but for now we have to make do with our unicorn being lazy. Alright, we're here. We're here. Let's go down there and get our stuff. Give me them books. This is still not hard mode dungeon because we have not killed Plantera. So there's nothing really to fear down here. <laughs> nothing to fear down here. I feel like I've already done a book run. Like, I know I have. There's books missing off these shelves. I wonder how many books we got left. I got all of these. You can tell I hit up all of these shelves. There's just like a book there. Okay, so there's a few here. Probably just ones I missed. <laughs> so let's just get as many books as I can without going too far down into the dungeon because I don't need to be down here forever. I just want to get a few books. There's some. Once we find one of those... Oh, here's the sad part. We have to rediscover our dungeon. We've already beaten it. We've already explored it. So when we come back here for hard mode, it's not going to hurt to have, you know, actually explored this. Uh, it wouldn't be a bad idea to pick up some of this furniture, but I mean, as it stands, I don't have any desire for it. However, I just had an interesting idea. What if, when we make the old man's house, even though he's the clothier, we could theme it, dun we could dungeon theme it. Think about it. He's 
quote unquote Skeletron, if you you know follow that at all. I, I think he's pretty much Skeletron. That makes sense. We could do that. We could get some of this furniture. I could put some junk in the uh, piggy bank. That's what it's for. We can come pick it up later. Let's just do something like that. And that'll let me pick up some more of this stuff. Yeah, some doors. You know, he's only going to need like one or two doors. I like that idea. Some chairs and some of these cool lanterns. Uh, these doors, yeah, maybe. I don't know. For now, I'm just going to go through here. Give me the bookcases or bookshelves. Actually, no, I don't want the shelves. Screw the shelves. I, I just want the uh, books. Okay, so that room does not have as many books as I thought it would have, so let's just keep going down. You guys die. Spiders should do work in here because there's walls everywhere. Yeah, they're, they're crawling everywhere. They got this. Uh, table, chair, even though we already have a little bit of those. Let's do more. More books. You guys are doing a surprising amount of damage to me, but I'll just go ahead and shoost you down. A bed, yep, yeah, that makes sense. You know, these are things. These are things for the house to come, basically. Why not? I already have another book or another bed, but it doesn't hurt to keep exploring. I have 23 books. I believe that is enough to make the actual bookcase. But again, while I'm down here, let me pick up a few more. Yeah, that that saddens me. I really didn't even think about that, which is weird. I mean, I knew everything was unexplored now, but the dungeon, we had it all kind of mapped out before, purposely mapped it all out so we knew where it all was and rip world exploration that has got to be the stupidest and probably easiest bug to fix that i can ever think of like make a backup of file win cloud saving <laughs> keep that fucking file oh my goodness I, I see no logic behind that but that did totally happen let's get rid of that bowl uh, now you're going to start seeing some different furniture down here like that was blue dungeon furniture we were picking up i think this is gothic this is different, uh, so I, I don't want to. I don't want to break because I don't have plenty of room for it right now. Let's just continue to get these books. Yeah, look at these books. There we go. That's what we're interested in. Now, 54 is more than enough for what we were interested in. So, gonna put that here. Kill you. Let's head home. Owie, 70 damage from a dark caster. Really? Damn, hollow armor. You suck. So. Now we've got some, some extra furniture for if we decide to use dungeon-based furniture for the clothier. I could just make him like a fancy dapper house or something, but I mean, eh, dungeon furniture does fit the uh, the Mata theme. So of course we already have a chest for it, and we'll drop everything off in here. Now let me quick stack some potions and stuff like that. The piggy bank, I can go ahead and pull out all the stuff here because we were building with most of it. Give me this and this and this. Uh, that's my ammunition. I can go ahead and store these away. So pretty much, we want to be able to use what we just did with the piggy bank more often. I want to be able to use it as a secondary storage. Oh, I can throw this banner in here. That's the whole point of it. That's why we carry the piggy bank. Uh, bookcase. I can make a vanilla one. A marble one. Now the pearlwood one. Do I not have enough pearlwood? Oh, I quick stacked it. Okay. Okay. So... Now we have enough pearl wood. <laughs> Let's see what the pearl one looks like compared to the vanilla one. The boro one looks really ugly. This one, I'm... Yeah, actually, the, the sprite looked really dumb. I'll be real, but when you make it, it looks pretty neat. So I like that. Let's put the black paint up here, the gray paint down below it. Paint roller. Uh, we will equip the armored paint sprayer. That's right, it's an armored paint sprayer. It's a fancy one. Let's put down the remaining walls. Looks good, and of course we can take the paint roller, and we'll fix this stuff up. So, there we go. Walls have been painted. That's been fixed. The the stuff, again, when I actually have torches all throughout here, you really go see it better. But I'm thinking some pearlwood furniture is is in order right now. Now, let's uh, make sure we got all our good accessories equipped. There we go. So, what else can I make really quick that's uh, pearlwood? I made the sofa. Let's go to the crafting bench. I would like to make probably a, a crafting bench or table. The table, table looks bigger and more probably aesthetically pleasing. But the obviously the crafting bench has way more functionality. So what are we rolling with here? The pearlwood door. Am I using that versus maybe a marble? I do like the marble doors. The problem is I just don't have too many different things. So we're definitely making a chair. Let's do the table. And air's getting colder, colder around you. I believe that is Skeletron coming after me, if I'm not mistaken. We could attempt 
to kill him. Assuming he actually does spawn, we could attempt this. So two iron skin potions should be enough. Two regen potions. I I, I, I am okay with attempting this kill. Uh, Spelunker, I don't have any room for you. We favored them, so don't put them away. Just a night owl potion so we can see better. Uh, other than that, really, I don't need any more potions. We can use our arena. That'll help me out. Got all the ammunition we need. I can put it over the other stuff. So, potions have been favorited. I won't lose any when I quick stack them. Got the right bullets. Got the right ammunition. Okay. Well, let's get up here. Let's throw down like the pearlwood stuff. And I'm always getting ready to ap wrap the episode up. But if he decides to spawn shortly, we can go ahead and we can attempt to, de to deal with him. I'm fairly certain error is getting cool around who is Skeletron, and I believe he's only going—it's only going to be him because he's the only one we haven't killed yet. So it should be him. Summon these dudes to make sure they are active and kind of wait out for him. Uh, I do not need that there. Uh, this thing—I do not have a duplicate of it at the moment. Yeah, there he is. Okay, so let, let's deal with Skeletron Prime. Attempt to deal with Skeletron Prime. So I can press. B because I actually know I have this Spelunker. I'll just do it anyway. So we'll come up here and we have we have crystal bullets. Crystal bullets will do absolute work against him. Do I have anything else they want to use against him? Uh, Nimbus Rod. Look we'll at you down. Just at, ready to go. So it's it's kind of going to be a similar to say the twins fight a little bit. I'm just going to use this arena to my advantage. Now of course I can take advantage of the nurse the NPC and just like run home and heal up if I need to. I have to be quick about it, that way we don't, you know, have him despawn or anything, but go ahead and just keep shooting him. Let's, let's take him down. I can't remember what his second phase was, and I really wish I had the golden shower for this fight. Give me some extra debuffs would be quite nice. I hope we have enough crystal bullets for the fight entirely. We may not, as he does take a little bit more, to, eh, a little more damage, or a little more to kill. What's he got? How much HP does he have? 42k? He's just not running into me like the other, like the twins do. So I don't, like when he does that, that's good. Like when he charges me like that, yeah, he takes more damage to the crystal shards, but he usually floats around and acts all stupid. <laughs> so shoot his face when he's doing the spinny thing. We could be killing his limbs, which I think is actually a good idea, but I'm going to try to just down him this way. And we need more Nimbus Rod. How many bullets we got? 660? Yeah. 660, we got this. It's about halfway down. I think we had 800 to begin. Try to dodge as many shots as I can. I feel like I should be breaking his limbs. I don't. I, I think. I think whenever you get down to his next phase and he has his limbs, that you have a problem. I usually always end up breaking his limbs first anyway. I don't know. I'm just gonna keep trying to kill him. Let's try it differently. This is a free kill. <laughs> I didn't use any items to summon him. He just spawned naturally. Still, really wish I had gold shower for this. That'd be cool. Hey, come under. Come underneath the Nimbus rod. Come underneath the Nimbus Rod. Take, take extra damage. Yeah. Use my wings. Just fly over here. Try not to despawn him. I'm standing still. He's still in the mini-map. He's still here. And walk him towards the base. We'll bring him back up top. I can go to the nurse if I need to, but again, I'm pretty much fine. I don't even need to go up to our arena. <laughs> uh, uh, I accidentally clicked my hotbar. You gotta be careful about that. When he's up at the top left corner, you can click on your hot bar and change your weapons. That's probably not what you're after. So he's got 5k HP left. He's almost dead. This is a little bit easier than I remember, which is kind of funny. Expert mode. I remember when I was afraid of you. Now I'm. <laughs> now I'm not really. I say that now, but Moon Lord's gonna wreck my face. <laughs> 1k HP. Down he freaking goes. We can just go ahead and face tank the rest. There it is. I wasn't expecting. To kill him, uh, to kill all three mechanical bosses so quickly. I mean, I could have, but there you go. There's all three mechanical bosses dead. Uh, the uh, jungle is now hard mode jungle. So there's going to be new things over there. Uh, Plantera. I, I don't remember if there's actually new things or if just Plantera has a. Uh, his bulbs start spawning or not. But now Plantera bulbs are active. And we've obviously, if we break those, we summon Plantera. And if we do that, we get into hard mode dungeon. There's also some other things that unlock from killing Plantera. I believe some NPCs can sell some new things. There's, there's a couple things that change. But breaking Plantera is kind of a progression thing. So, there it is. There is all three mechanical bosses. I will more than likely end up using the mechanical uh, skull that we have in one of my chests just to summon him again later. 
But really fast, what I would like to do... I should have quick stacked it when I was over here. But let me unfavorite these potions so we can put them away. Uh, go in here. Now these mana pots, they don't need to be in my inventory. I am kind of surprised I've left them in my inventory this whole time. Let's open this. Oh my goodness. Yay! We got one of the set, the dev sets. But we didn't get the one I want. Damn! There's the, the, the dev set Jim. Uh, Jim's wings. I have them in my stream world. Those are my favorite. They are so cool. So these goggles, I actually do like. Um, I'm thinking I'm going to get rid of the angler set. I've been wearing it for too long. It looks pretty goofy. Uh, now, these are... This is a skirt, granted. So it's not exactly something I'm going to wear as, you know, a dude. But... As I get some things, I want to phase them out. So since this is vanity, let me go ahead and throw it in here. So the this is actually this is wings. It's like wings. It gives you flight and it gives you the fall damage immunity. It's it's wings. All it does is it's like specter boots. It shoots little clouds of like dust out of your feet, rather than having flapping wings. I'm not going to use it at the moment. I don't really like it. This one is confuses me. I don't know what this does exactly. All I know is if you look at my character's face and when I equip this accessory, uh, I think I have to put it in a vanity slot, it gets darker. I don't know what that's about. I genuinely do not. That's all I know that this thing does. Um, obviously, again, this is fairly feminine. I'm not going to wear it, but <laughs> it's cool to have. So let me put... Let me kill you. Let me put the, the, van the rest of the vanity set in here. Did I get all of it? Yeah, I think this is like a headpiece or something. I don't know. It's weird. It is weird looking. So what I wanted to do really quick before I wrapped it up was in here we have the wagon piece, the wheel piece, and then of course I had the other piece, the, uh, the wagon, wheel, and the battery piece. I don't remember if you need to make out the anvil or the tinker station. It's the anvil. So this is the mechanical minecart. Mechanical cart. Now this thing, which we actually have died. I don't have any minecarts on the ground at the moment are placed, but this thing actually shoots at enemies as you ride it, and it can kill wyverns pretty much faster than I can, because it shoots so many, or so rapidly, and because he's segmented. Oh god, it does work. It's fucking hilarious. So, for now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take the angler gear off. We've been wearing it for a very long time. I'm going to work my way to getting some, like, dev sets and things, because I've done that in my stream world. There, there's some really cool sets out there that I would like to get. So we have Souls of Fright. God, there's so many things I can do. I can go craft the Drax or the Pickaxe Axe now because we killed all three mechanical bosses. There's a lot of stuff I need to do, guys. But I, for now, I'm going to wrap the episode up. So this was episode 10. A whole lot more progression than I initially intended. <laughs> Skeletron Prime. <laughs> oh, man, all three mechanical bosses. Hard Mode Jungle is now a thing. Got a dev set of armor, which is pretty cool. It wasn't the one I wanted, but it's still cool nonetheless. I'm uh, just deciding on what furniture we're going to use, and I'm um, fairly certain I'm going to roll with pearl wood. We'll find that out as we go on, but thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.